What's going on guys? Ben from JK Gear and Gadgets. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the top seven winch accessories that I'd recommend to anybody that owns a winch. Um, often, you know, winch accessories and you know, add-ons and stuff really get overlooked. People buy a winch and they're like, okay, I'm good, I'm done. But, uh, you know, and that happens because you really don't know what you're going to need, you know, winch related until you're stuck. So naturally, a lot of Jeep owners, you know, these beasts that they are don't ever get stuck that often. And all the Toyota guys always end up with all the cool winch stuff because they know uh, they get stuck a lot. But uh, <laughs> no, let's go ahead and dive on in and talk about some of the accessories that I highly recommend. Before we get started, uh, let me go ahead and say, you know, I like worn winches. That's what I, I prefer to run. Um, I want to hear from all you guys and everybody else that has a winch currently. In the comments, put what winch you have, what brand, and, uh, you know, if you'd recommend it, if you like it, if you hate it, blah, blah, blah. Just so people watching this video can go down to the comments and see what... Uh, you know what everybody else likes or if they have any recommendations on what uh, winches to run but so let's hop right into number one if you have a winch you know about the cord you got to wrap it up over your hood around all the light thingies blah 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 get it out of the way and over here so you can uh, you can use it <laughs> that gets really old and annoying after a while especially uh, you know a few times after winch and you know putting it in and out and especially once you start getting muddy, this is going to start scratching up the paint and everything the more you use it. So, that leads us to my first and most favorite winch accessory. Boom. <laughs> but no, it's uh, a wireless remote. So a lot of winches come standard with this now, but you can also get the upgrade. So this is a worn wireless, remote, uh, wireless system. It just simply plugs in and then you have the remote here. So you can winch out. <laughs> Turn it on real quick. So you can sit here, winch out, and winch in without even having to plug in your remote. So um, once it's plugged in, you can use this carabiner to wrap around there so it won't fall out off-road. But I mean, it's really beneficial because I can sit over here in the driver's seat and uh, operate the winch. Uh, I don't have to worry about routing this cord anymore. That's just one thing to, you know, one less thing to worry about while you're winching. Uh, so that naturally is number one. Uh, downside, I mean, it, it's, it's a little expensive. Uh, I think this upgrade from Warren was uh, right around 130 bucks, which, uh, I mean, it's not terrible for what it is, but it's definitely an added, you know, cost factor. So, uh, I'd recommend it. I know, you know, a lot of other companies come standard with it. So, uh, let's move on to number two. And we're on to number two, which is going to be my Factor 55 Flat Link. Uh, they also make the Pro Link. Uh, you know, they make all different styles, but the benefit behind these is that they're stronger, they're lighter, and, uh, you know, you get rid of the traditional hook and clasp. Uh, you know, in some cases, you know, those lead to failures. This is a closed system, so all you do, once it's in there, you put your shackle in, it's not getting out. You know, there's no hooks for it to, uh, you know, fall out of, none of that. You're hooked in. Uh, it's a lot safer, um, and, uh, honestly, they look pretty cool. It stores the, uh, it stores this. Or your traditional, you know, if you had a traditional hook, it's kind of going to flop around. Whereas this sits right in, nice up and tight against the fair lead. So let me suck it in and show you guys. You know, you're just going to hold it right up here. And it sucks it nice and tight out of the way. Um, you don't have to worry about the hook. And overall, it's just safer. Um, I mean, they look cool. They are, they are pretty pricey once again. But, uh definitely adds to the whole you know safer winching kind of deal um also you know showed you with the uh the standard shackle but they also work really good with the uh with a soft shackle as well so uh you know they have tons of products different colors and uh, they hold up really well so i definitely recommend them let's move on to number three all right so next up is a tree strap uh tree saver tree strap whatever you want to call it um for those of you who know you really don't want to just grab your winch line, wrap it around a tree, and tie it back to itself. You're going to want to use something to tie around the tree and attach to this, to your hook or whatever you know type of uh, system you're running. Um, my favorite is the uh, the Rock Fab. Uh, they make a uh, a tree saver, super small, lightweight, um, and you know has the protective sheath and everything. But I like this, you know, compared to some of the other standard straps because. When you're, you know, if you're stuck somewhere super muddy and you're on a hill, the last thing you want to do is try to go up that hill with all your hands full, uh, you know. Whereas this, you know, nice and small and light, you can simply just put it in your, uh, 
That's weird. But... Yeah, I mean, you could just throw it in your pocket, hoodie pocket, anything. And then you have both your hands, because a lot of times, you know, if it's muddy, really wet, you know, somewhere you're stuck, you're going to be climbing up, and it's nice to have that other hand to be able to grab onto stuff, opposed to, you know, trying to, oh, you know, falling over and all that. But, uh, and then you die. No, it's not that serious. But, uh, you know, the, the, a nice tree strap is awesome, and, uh, you know, it's an extra benefit of having one that's small, compact, and light. So I mean, if you're in the if you're gonna buy one, you might as well get one that's uh, you know specifically made for us wheelers. Uh, you know, people that you know don't really just need a standard strap. I'm all about you know buying buying it right once. And this, I mean, super small, super simple. But uh, you know, let's go throw it up on a tree. Number four, snatch block. Uh, hopefully, you guys have seen these in action. You know what they're used for. If not, I'm not going to dive too deep into them. I have a video uh, post already about how to use these, what they do, and exactly how they work. Uh, but a snatch block, what it does is uh, simply attaches to one point. Your winch line comes through here, and you can either double it back to your own Jeep to double the pulling power, or use it to, uh, you know, if you, if you have a tree nowhere in sight but except all the way to your passenger side, uh, that doesn't make sense either because then there's nowhere for this to go to. Uh, duh. What am I thinking? Uh, but no, suppose there's a tree right in front of me and, uh, you know, there's a Jeep or something stuck on my passenger side that I, you know, I can't maneuver my Jeep to get in line with him. I could use a snatch block on the tree, have the winch line coming through this pulley and going over to his vehicle. I mean, they have a lot of uses. Um, generally, they're not too expensive. I know some of the nicer ones get up there in price, like a lot. But uh, I mean, just get one that's rated, you know, for your vehicle. Uh, do keep in mind that uh, if you're going to use it to go to yourself, double your winching power, you're going to want to, uh, you know, double up on the weight of your vehicle, which you know is a good practice anyways. They go with like a 20,000 pound snatch block or something like that. Um, but definitely should be in every rig. Um, you never know when you're going to get stuck. You know, if you're in mud that's like above your bumper, you're not going to be able to winch yourself out of that unless you have a snatch block to really slow down the winch and uh, you know get some extra pulling power behind you so uh, like I said um, I do have a video posted on that I think it's called how to double your winch's pulling power you know just scroll down if you do want to see how a snatch block's used but uh, definitely a great accessory to every winch uh, you know if you have a winch you might as well get one of these number five uh, synthetic winch line a lot of people are going to argue against this, saying steel's better, uh, blah, blah, blah. Synthetic has these downfalls. Overall, synthetic's better. Yes, there's a lot of stuff you do need to, you know, you're going to have to maintain it. You have to make sure that, you know, you have to wash it. Uh, it is vulnerable to, uh, you know, abrasion, cuts, all that stuff. But it's lighter. It's not going to rust. Uh, it's a lot safer if it does snap. And overall, if you do, you know, buy a winch, get one with the synthetic line already on it it's going to be a lot cheaper in the long run uh, if you do have steel cable switching over to synthetic can be pretty pricey but uh, a lot of the times i'd say it's worth it uh, yeah i need to wash mine uh, it is uv uh what do you it's, you know it can be harmed by uv rays to the sun so a lot of people get the covers that go over here that might be something i'll do just because i can see mine fading uh, a little bit i mean a lot of that's mud mixed in but you also have to be careful that uh you know you don't wrap, wrap it on itself this is a pretty poor wrap job. I haven't re-spooled it since the last time I winched up at Windrock. So, uh, you know, but that's something you need to do with steel or synthetic either way. But synthetic is a huge upgrade over steel. Um, you know, and if you don't believe me, if you hear all the naysayers, you know, just do some Googling and you'll see the differences. And uh, the pros definitely outweigh the cons. Number six is a super simple and almost free uh, accessory. Uh, if you have shackles, which I'd recommend having more than just the two on your front bumper or rear bumper. Uh, I like to have one just as a spare to use, so I don't have to take it off the bumper. Um, but if you do have a spare, what I would do is paint it. Uh, paint it an odd color, like lime green, orange, purple, pink, white, uh, or even glow-in-the-dark green, which is actually uh, probably the best out of all those, especially for uh, nighttime evolutions. reason behind this is because when you're winching, or uh, doing any types of recovery. Uh, these will be laying around everywhere, you know, on the ground, in the grass, in the mud, on the rocks, and black usually tends to kind of, uh, you know, mix in with the environment. 
and uh, they just stay there. They get lost, get left behind. Uh, they also get stolen, not on purpose, but you know, if me and a few buddies are pulling some people out, and you know, there's three, you know, shackles laying around. You know, people forget whose is whose, and oh, did I use mine? Did I use yours? Whereas if you paint it, uh, you'll know. Oh, the white one's mine. Also, you're not gonna forget it laying over there in the grass because it stands out like a sore thumb. Uh, you know, plus, you know, it, it's just you don't want to you don't want to lose your stuff on the trail, especially nice expensive shackles like these worn, the epic shackles. You know, those are those are like 35 bucks a piece. Just get a, a you know a set of you know standard shackles, paint them, and use those for your recovery recovery scenarios. You don't have to keep them on dangling on your Jeep because that looks tacky, but just throw them in your recovery bag or your center console or whatever. Um, but I will say, <laughs> for all the people that have uh, black shackles, you, you know, most people have probably lost one or two. I've lost a handful, but I've also found a handful. You know, next time you're on the trails, just look around and you know some of the spots where people might need to winch, and more than likely you'll find a couple black uh, shackles laying around or under some brush. So. Uh, it's always something I see on the trails, especially if you look hard enough. So, uh, paint them, pretty much free. You might buy a can of spray paint. But uh, this used to be a big thing back in the day. You know, when I first started wheeling, everybody had odd color shackles just spray painted. But nowadays, you know, I don't really see it happening as more, and a lot of people are losing shackles now. So, definitely one of the cheapest and easiest winch accessory. And finally, last but not least, the soft shackle. Um, once again, I've already done a video on these soft shackles. I uh, got a got these from Rock Fab Off Road. Um, super high quality, great pricing. But uh, you know, if you're interested in the video, you know, me talking about all the uses for the soft shackles. You know, wh what situations would you want to use them in? What are the pros and cons of them? Uh, I have one on my page uh, talking all about soft shackles. But soft shackles are super super useful. Uh, you know, you can. They're quick, easy, lightweight. Uh, you know, you can throw it in your uh, in your glove box, and you can use it on you know in places that are kind of you know uncommon. Uh, you know, especially you know if for some reason we needed to pull from here, you know, you can't hook up your shackle to this. Uh, so the soft shackles have a lot of different uses. Um, very versatile, versatile, however you want to say it. But uh, definitely a good uh, a good thing to have when you're winching. Uh, makes it a lot quicker. You don't have to worry about you know, over tightening your shackle and having to get, you know, a wrench to back it off. Uh, just super quick and easy. All you do is expand the eye, stick the ball through, and then kind of wrap it back in. And it's going to self tighten too. And it's just super quick and easy. A lot safer than a, you know, a two pound shackle flying, uh, you know, if your winch line breaks. This thing's practically just going to drop to the ground. So, uh, I mean, that wraps it up. I'm going to throw all these, uh, all these items. I'm gonna find I'm gonna find a link to them and uh, put them in the description on the video so you guys check out the prices uh, you know shop around if you saw something that you'd like uh, and if you have any uh, you know any questions or comments you know be sure to put them in the comments uh, <laughs> I know a lot of you guys are gonna have some uh, some trash to say oh I've never used that before blah 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 I've been wheeling for 18 years that's cool throw it in the comments. Uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff here. I'm sure that everybody's gonna, not everybody's gonna want to use, not everybody needs, but overall, it's a lot of good uh, accessories for winching and just general recovery. Uh, I don't expect everybody and their mother to have all these stuff, you know, all these products, especially if they're, you know, just starting out off roading. But uh, it's kind of hard to say that none of these are a good idea. Uh, they're all, they all have their place, and uh, I, I mean, they're the top seven, you know, accessories that I would highly recommend to anybody that has a winch. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, you know, leave some, some stuff in the, the comments below. And subscribe if you already haven't. Thanks, guys.